In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an animated split screen effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you first just want to add your footage to your timeline. So as you can see, I've got these eight video clips here and I want to create an animated split screen effect with all of these different videos. So the way I would do this is I would first drop them all on top of each other. So two goes on to video layer two, three goes on to video layer three, four goes on to video layer four, five, six, and so on. They're all just gonna stack on top of each other. Now I'm just gonna work with these six because I feel like eight is gonna freeze up my computer. And then I'm just going to trim the end of all of these so that they are the same duration. So in order to cut something, you want to press C on the keyboard that's gonna load up the eraser tool. This is the eraser tool here. And then you just make a cut, press V and delete the end. But moving on with this animated split screen effect, we're now just gonna go and decrease the scale and position of all of these. So I'm gonna to go to this video. So I'm gonna to go to the layer on video layer six. I'm gonna pull the scale down. And then I'm just going to copy that. So I'm gonna select motion. I'll copy that using Command and C, and then just use Command and V to paste that onto all of the other layers below. Now I'm just gonna move video layer six up into the top left, so up to there. We'll go to five, we'll move that across and up. Then we'll go to four, we'll move that up into the gap up here, like this. Then we'll go to three, we'll move this across into this gap. We'll go to two, we'll move this across, and then we'll go to one. And I'm gonna pop that just under here. So I'm gonna pop that into there. And then as you can see, I need to adjust this one, which is video layer two. So I need to pop that over on the right like this. There you go. So if I wanted to animate this over time, what I would need to do is go onto each individual layer and create a brand new keyframe on the position by selecting the toggle animation button and make sure that the cursor is at zero, zero. And then just work through all of these and just create a brand new keyframe at the beginning on the position on every layer. There we go. Now we'll move roughly five seconds to the right. And we can just go through the process of just moving the position of all of these different layers. So we'll go to video layer six and we'll move that down. We'll go to five. Which one is five? This one is five. We can move this one down as well. We'll bring it down further. We'll go to four and we'll move this as well. So we'll bring this one down again. Now we'll go to three. Where's three? Three is here. So we'll bring this one down as well. Two is over here. I'm actually going to take that up because I think that might look cool to create that parallax between something going down and something going up. And then this one on video layer one should be going down as well. But the thing is that we can't actually see where that's going. So we're just going to select fit, we'll zoom out to maybe 50%, select the motion on that. And then as you can see, that brings up this outline. So select this layer here. Cool, so that's four. As you can see, the outline is around there. So I'm gonna go down to this layer and I'm just gonna bring that down to roughly the same place. We can always make an adjustment later if it doesn't look right. But now when we go back to the beginning and we play this back, you can see this is an animated split screen effect now happening. Of course though, at the moment, all I'm really doing is animating the position. The shapes aren't changing at all. It's just the position moving around. So instead, what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna delete three of these videos and I'm just going to reset the position on all of these. So I'm gonna pop these back in the middle, delete those keyframes. And I'll bring the scale back up to where they need to be. So because this is 5K footage in a 1080p video, I'm just going to pull this up to 38. But if it was 1080p footage, then it would be scale 100. Cool. So we've got these three videos and we want to animate these with our multi-screen split screen effect. So I'm just going to go to the beginning. I'm going to zoom out to 50%. And I'm just going to draw a mask around this first layer. So we'll go to Effect Controls, Opacity, select the Free Draw Bezier tool, and then we can just draw out our shape. So I'm going to do a rectangle, but the one side slightly slanted. And we'll create a brand new keyframe on the mask path and the position. Now we'll go to the layer below, and we'll do the same thing again. We'll select the Free Draw Bezier tool on the Opacity, 
and I'm just going to follow this line down, move across and complete that mask like this and create a brand new keyframe on mask path and position again. Then we'll go to video layer one. Same thing again, but we're just going to complete this. But at the moment, you can see there's not really anything exciting happening in the footage. So I'm just going to move the position over to find our subject, which is this candle. Then we'll zoom back out, select the free job Bezier tool, and we'll just create that mask. There you go. Feel free to adjust this as well if you need to. Now that looks really cool at the moment, but the problem is, first of all, it's not animating, but we'll get onto that in a moment. But second of all, if I zoom into 400%, you can see that the edges are slightly soft. And that's because the mask feather is set to 10%. So we need to pull this down to zero on all of those layers. And that will create this really nice harsh edge to the video. So if we just zoom back out to fit, there you go. That looks really cool. Although at the moment you can actually see on this left, the subject is the TV in this footage, but we're not getting that. So I'm going to go back to the very beginning and then I'm just going to move the position of this over to the left. We'll select that mask and we'll just move the mask over to the right like this. If it clips into the left of the frame, by the way, then feel free to just move that edge over. But there we go. Once you've got your first starting point, you can now go ahead and make sure that the position is selected. So you've got a new keyframe on the position, new keyframe on the mask on all of those layers. Then we'll move over to maybe the five second mark and we'll just go through the process of moving these masks over. And of course, feel free to animate the position as well if you wanted to do so. So we'll select this TV layer first and I'm just going to swing the top of this over to the right. So we'll go mask path, I'm just going to drag this over like this. And I think that looks great. I'm just going to swing the bottom down a little bit though, like this. And now we can go to our second layer. And we can update that so that this follows the other masks. So I would just create a new point there, follow that along like this. And as you can see in my example, I've got this curved edge. So I'm just going to straighten that off like this. There you go. And that looks good. Now we'll select that bottom layer, select the mask. And as you can see at the moment, there is no mask path. There's no keyframe on the mask on this layer. So I'm going to go to the beginning before I change anything create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. And then I'll go to that five second mark where the other keyframes are. And I'm just going to go ahead and move this mask to follow the action. There you go. So we'll zoom back into fit and we'll play this back. And as you can see, you've got this animating split screen effect inside of Adobe Premiere. Now, there you go. That is the split screen effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. By using a mixture of position, scale, masking, you can create this really interesting and really creative split screen effect. You could bring in objects and videos from the left, from the right, from the top, the bottom. You can animate the masking. It's completely up to you. So just use your imagination, be creative, and you'll create a really awesome split screen animation in no time. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.